Welcome everyone. In this video, we are in the Great League, showcasing some more fun battles featuring Bronzong. Bronzong is a very interesting pick for the Great League. I've been wanting to run it for quite some time, but uh, in previous seasons where things were a little bit more competitive, Bronzong was a bit of a risky pick to go with, um, but because we are in Season 11, the interlude season, uh, things are now much more open and um, relaxed, so we can try out some fun and interesting things that we don't typically see. And uh, I thought, what better time to give Bronzong a shot? Very interesting. play. Although it is a steel type, it plays a little bit more like a psychic type. Uh, but you just really get those strong steel resistances. And Bronzong's going to be in the back on this team. And also, we've got Surfetched on the lead. In my quest to build a solid team around Bronzong, you know, it's going to be weak to those Shadow Claw users like Sableye and Kofagrigus. Um, the Dark types also give Bronzong some problems. So I thought, what better pick? To pair with Bronzong, then Surfetched, guys. Surfetched is probably one of the best complements to Bronzong's weaknesses, as with its diverse move pool, gives it so much amazing coverage in the Great League. And of course, we are running Leaf Blade and Night Slash for the coverage on the Ghost types. And of course, Leaf Blade is just amazing. <clears throat> it's an amazing move. Overall, that is a must-have no matter what you go with for the second coverage move on Surfetched. Gives you excellent coverage in the Great League. And also on this team, serving as the safe swap, we've got good old overpowered Reggie Steele. I wanted to uh, give some added coverage for Surfetched. Uh, Surfetched's weakness of charm and uh, the occasional confusion uh, user. So uh, landed on good old Reggie Steele as the safe swap. Reggie Steele performs beautifully no matter where you have it placed on your team. On this classic ABB team, it is going to be our safe swap. It is a relatively safe safe swap as it can absolutely break through those shields and really threaten the health on your opponent. This was a very solid team. I had a lot of fun with it. But without further ado, let's dive right into these battles. And uh, these first three battles we're going to do are going to be a few bonus battles that I thought were tons of fun. And here we go. Terrible lead, Altaria. Got to get the heck out of there. We go into Reggie Steel, and they meet us with an Obstagoon. So we are up against it here a little bit. Hard countered on the lead. Hard countered on the safe swap. But let's see how we can do. We're going to just bait with a Zap Cannon, guys. And we grab that shield. Obstagoon gets one shot with a Focus Blast, so we grab the shield with the Zap Cannon. That is amazing. You don't often bait with a less energy efficient move, but right here it definitely made sense. And it looks like this Obstagoon is running either Gunk Shot or Hyper Beam. A lot of battlers like to run that move set in the Great League. I prefer Cross Chop, and if they had Cross Chop, they probably would have done a lot better, but we say bye-bye to Obstagoon. They were not willing to go completely down on shields and we flip switch advantage with our Reggie Steel. You love to see it. So here we go, guys. They came back in with that Altaria. We came in with our Bronzong and they've got a Jellicent in the back. Holy smokes. This is why we got Surfetched on this team, guys. Surfetched just runs right through Jellicent like a hot knife through butter. And that Leaf Blade did a lot of super effective damage to the very bulky Jellicent. And going to shield up everything from the Jellicent. It is an Ice Beam, so they're running double nukes on their Jellicent. Guys, if they had been running Bubble Beam, they might have had a slightly better chance at flipping Switch Advantage. But they don't, so we're going to go for another Leaf Blade, and they let it go. They're putting all of their hope and faith into this Altaria. Um, our Surfetched has done... It's job, so we are gonna let it go down. They are likely just gonna look to no. They look to they look to sky attack. That is amazing. They could have just farmed down. That probably would have been the better play. Um, but uh, nonetheless, we come back in with our Bronzong guys, and this is why Bronzong is a fun pick for the Great League. We are resisting everything that this Altaria could possibly throw at us. 
and we are going to look to get to one last side shock to seal the deal against this overpowered flying dragon known as Altaria. And we say bye-bye, Altaria. Bronzong! Starting it off with a bang, closing the game strong. You'd love to see it. That's going to be a good game. Well played to this battler. If you enjoyed seeing Bronzong close the game strong, do give the video a like as you would be providing a massive help to the channel. My goodness, Bronzong was tons of fun in the Great League today, and we are met with a Skuntank. So this is actually a decent lead, but we're going to swap into Registeel. We want to see what they have in the back and um, see if we can force them to stay in a little. We are resisting these poison jabs and uh, not going to shield. Oh, we were thinking they might have had a uh, flamethrower. Uh, Skuntank does have access to flamethrower, but they baited us with a crunch and they make a play into a hypno. So this is actually good. I'm glad we safe swapped because we don't want that hypno anywhere near our surfetched. And this hypno is farming for days, guys. If you, if you were playing a steel type, and Hypno is farming for days like this, there is a very good chance that they're going to try and nuke you with a Focus Blast. And my goodness, were they trying to do that? That's an amazing shield. They tried to get off a massively super effective Focus Blast on our Reggie Steel, but we're not having that. We did go down on shields, but this is okay. We were able to flip switch, and that is what we wanted to do. They come out with a Samurai. Fun team from this battler. Shouts to them taking full advantage of Season 11 in Pokemon Go Battle League. Fun team here. And uh, we do grab the shield with that Zap Cannon. That would have definitely one shot for sure. And um, they do have nearly two Hydro Cannons here. But they can't farm us down with these uh, Fury Cutters. Those are resisted with our Steel Typing. So they're going to look to dump all of their energy. And that is amazing. So we are actually going to come in here with our Bronzong. Knowing that they have a Dark Type in the back. Uh, we're just going to try and get ahead on energy. They bank a move and make an aggressive play back into their Skun Tank. And here we go. We are back in with our Surfetched. Both of our charged charge attacks are resisted. But Surfetch does not care about your resistances. It just demolishes everything because it hits like a truck. And they are at something big here. It'll likely one-shot. Yeah, it's a sludge bomb. So they're not running flamethrower. This is looking pretty good for our Bronzong. Gonna look to get off the double resisted side shot. Gonna undercharge, hoping that we can get at least one last confusion worth of arm. And we do, just getting us that much closer to a side shock. And um, this could be a Mega Horn, and it is, but with our Steel Typing, guys, that hits for neutral, which allows us to get to the Psy Shock, which is going to absolutely seal the deal against the Samurott. Holy smokes. Bronzong coming in clutch yet again, closing in dominant fashion in the Great League. You'd love to see it. That's going to be a good game. Well played to this battler. Now, you guys might be wondering, what about Talonflame with this team? In that case, I don't, I don't think that's a winnable game. If you find Talonflame on the lead, you could give it a shot, but uh, it would be rough. But I didn't see any Talonflames today, and we are met with a Surfetched Mirror matchup. So we, uh, we kind of have to stay in here, obviously, with our back line. Uh, Bronzong does very well up against it, but you, if you risk swapping out... Uh, you're definitely going to get their best matchup against your Bronzong, but we have to swap out. So we're going to try and s get off one confusion, and that was amazing. That is, that's what we needed. We needed to chunk some health with that one confusion to get a health advantage on that uh, Surfetched with our own Surfetched, and that could, no could not have worked out better. And they meet us with an Azumarill. So this is okay, guys. These uh, bubbles are hitting for neutral. Pretty neutral matchup with the Azumarill. We do outpace to these Psy Shocks with stabs, so we're just gonna just go for go straight Psy Shock, of course. Azumarill does resist our paybacks, and uh, we're gonna shield this Hydro Pump up. They built all the way up to past the Hydro Pump, and because they took all that damage, we knew that we could farm it down and flip switch advantage with our Bronzong. That is amazing. That worked out extremely well. They've got an Altaria in the back. Holy smokes, this is looking amazing for our Bronzong and our Reggie Steel. Bronzong came in clutch in that mid-game matchup, guys. Flip and switch was uh, very key 
uh, to uh, having some success here up against this team. And we are going to look to get off another side shock. And uh, they do shield. That is amazing. And they snipe us with their surfetch, but they took another confusion, guys. We're going to throw our own surfetch in here. Obviously, it's a little bit of dead weight knowing that they have an Altaria in the back. Just going to throw it in there to soak some damage. And we're going to farm this surfetch down with our Reggie Steel. And it is just about lights out, guys. <laughs> this Altaria can do nothing to Reggie Steel. Everything is resisted. Sky attack, sure, no problem. Got another one, not a big deal at all. We're just going to look to get to a Zap Cannon to put this poor Altaria out of its misery. This Zap Cannon is going to hit for massive neutral damage. And we say bye-bye, Altaria. Reggie Steel closing the game strong. you love to see it. Love Reggie Steel. That's going to be yet another good game. Well played. Had a blast with this team today, guys. And again, as we move into the featured set of the video... If you like what you're seeing, do give the video a like, as that truly is the best way to really help this channel grow. And we are met with a Swampert lead. We're staying right here, but they want to make a play into an, a Skarmory, but <laughs> we little did they know, guys. We got Reggie Steel in the back running the Legacy Zap Cannon, and uh, they have to shield this. If they don't, it was nearly one shot, and holy smokes, they let that Zap Cannon go. Holy smokes. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, they <laughs> they tanked that Zap Cannon and they said, no way, I am out of here. It was not trending in the right direction for them, to be fair. But uh, good game, well played nonetheless. This is why this team kind of works, guys, because Sir Fetched on the lead also handles the strong ground types like that Swampert in the last matchup. A uh, very, very solid team here. And we're met with a very positive lead in Bastion on. And uh, we're absolutely staying right here. But they make an aggressive play into a superior. Very interesting. So we come in with Bronzong. And uh, because we know that we resist everything that the superior could throw. Um, and we're reading that there may be a Sableye in the back, as um, Bastiodon often comes paired with Sableye in the back. So uh, we were thinking that Bronzong was the right call to come in onto the Superior. And we're just going to play this out. Uh, they hit us with a Leaf Tornado. We're not shielding those uh, grass attacks. And then they hit us with a Frenzy Plant. So we're just going to look to get rid of it with a... Psy Shock in the Confusion, we still have loaded energy for this Bastiodon, and we can just go for these Paybacks here. Um, they do start to add up. Bastiodon, of course, is one of the bulkiest Pokemon in the Great League, but uh, the neutral hard-hitting Paybacks do really add up, and we are resisting this fast move pressure. They're going for an aggressive farm down with smackdown on a steel type they are getting tons of energy but that is okay this is why we've got a surfetched on this team we're gonna obviously come back in with our surfetched we don't want to have to tank a flamethrower on our reggie steel so we're just gonna shield it and they go stone edge there and they've got a meganium in the back so guys this team really <laughs> i don't get tilted very often but for some reason, this team got me a little tilted. How do you read that they are running double grass with Meganium and Superior behind a Bastion on lead, guys? That That's why I think we got a little tilted, because had we come in with our Reggie Steel onto the Superior, we might have done a little bit better up against this uh, very interesting team here. But of course, Meganium has access to super effective Earthquakes, and they do resist our legacy move of Zap Cannon. Um, and our Surfetched, it, although relatively healthy, does not perform well when shields are down. We're just trying to make something happen here. We're gonna aggressively go into our Surfetched and get off a Night Slash, but Meganium has some amazing bulk in the Great League, and it does not even come close to KOing, doesn't even get it into the red, and they one-shot us with a Frenzy Plant, and uh, that Bastiodon was uh, one smackdown off from a super effective flamethrower, and this is lights out for us, my goodness. Hats off to them uh, for the very interesting Bastiodon team. They just need to hope and pray that they don't run into a Metachamp. 
Yeah, we got tilted in that last battle, guys, because that is a team that we absolutely should dominate. But uh, that's just how intricate and complex Go Battle League can be. But uh, we press on, and we're met with a Alola Ninetales. We go into our Reggie Steel, and they meet us with a Vigoroth. So, guys, just like with that Obstagoon uh, in that uh, previous battle, we're going to bait with the Zap Cannon, knowing that they absolutely have the shield, and we do grab a shield. But in order to flip switch, guys, we're going to have to call a bait ourselves. So we're going to call this. They are definitely at a bulldoze, and we call it successfully. That is amazing. So knowing that they expended a shield on a Zap Cannon, they might be thinking, oh, they're going Zap Cannon again. We can tank one. But no, you cannot tank <laughs> a massively super effective Focus Blast. And that was enough for them. They said, I am out of here. Reggie Steele making him uh, top left today. That was That was fun. Good game. Well played. Yeah, guys, this team was tons of fun. And Bronzong definitely did not disappoint, guys. It actually is relatively bulky in the Great League. It has very, very nice bulk uh, in the Great League, which is definitely what you need if you're running Surfetched on the lead. And we are met with a Swamper, and this Swamper wants to stay in. If they stay in like that, they're going to try and catch the Leaf Blade. We knew that. Not falling for that. They come in with a Trevenant, so we're just going to get off a super effective Night Slash, and that does quite a bit. We're going to build up to another one, bank, and make a play into our Reggie Steel here to tank what could be a Shadow Ball. Uh, we were hoping that it was a bait um, because it makes sense to bait on Surfetch, but they go straight for that Shadow Ball. And uh, they do get to another potential Shadow Ball. We kind of want to flip switch advantage here. We're going to hope that they want to take a Shield advantage. We're going to look to get off a Zap Cannon. Although resisted, will definitely be enough to KO the Trevenant. And they do want to take Shield advantage. That is amazing. That is what we were hoping for. The Swamper comes in and decides to throw immediately. Probably a slight misplay. They could have definitely farmed up quite a bit more. Um, but they just want to rip off these hydro cannons just as fast as they get to them. And that is quite all right. We absolutely have to shield and uh, going to look to grab some shields from the Swampert or one shot it with a leaf blade. And uh, we do get that shield and we had loaded energy. So we were just one off from another potential leaf blade and they do shield that as well this is amazing they are going to take us out with a hydro cannon but this is farm downrange for our bronzong uh they are not going to get to another move before we can farm them down and they make a play into a licky tongue so very interesting matchup guys because they do apply super effective fast move pressure with those licks but we resist all of their uh charge attacks so uh, this is not so bad because, like I was saying, Bronzong has very nice bulk, guys. It, it is relatively bulky. So we can take this super effective fast move pressure and really take it to this uh, Licky Tongue here. Very bulky and tanky Licky Tongue at that. And uh, we're going to look to go for the farm down. We could have definitely gotten rid of it with a side shock, but I think we knew that we kind of had it in the bag. That Swampert was energy dry. Got to put it out of its misery. And we say bye-bye, Swampert. And there we have it. Bronzong closing the game strong. I'm telling you guys, it did not disappoint. It is definitely a, a, a decent pick for the Great League. Just got to have the right team. But uh, good game. Well played. Bronzong definitely pulled its weight and held its own on this very fun team in the Great League. It definitely uh, did some things for sure. And we are met with a Chestnut. I haven't seen one of these since it was first released. Shouts to them. Chestnut, fun fact for you guys, is actually one of the best answers to a stun fisk so uh, it can definitely do some things and right about here when we threw this leaf blade we knew that their play was to go back to back superpower uh so uh just as we threw that first leaf blade we were thinking we wanted to get it low enough to where we could snipe it with our bronzong but we ended up having to tank a superpower in the process but uh, we did sneak through a counter, so they go down with a fully loaded superpower. That is unfortunate for them, uh, but we are looking pretty good here with that snipe. Making the plays, 
That's how you get ahead and go Battle League. We are up a shield, and they are down a Pokemon. They come in with a normal cast form. Very fun pick as well. Uh, cast form is uh, surprisingly bulky. Um, and this is just like with that Licky Tongue. Uh, the fast move pressure is super effective, but we resist all of the charge attacks. They threw a Weather Ball Rock there. Go to look to get rid of this cast form with a Psy Shock. If they want to go down on shields, by all means, but they don't. They let it go. And they've got an Alolan Marowak in the back. Oh, man. Oh, it's getting, it's getting interesting now, guys. Uh, we are still up a shield, but... We have to grab that last shield to give our Registeel a chance um, as uh, Alolan Marowak can put in some work with that fast move pressure on our Registeel. We got to gar grab that shield. That is amazing. So now it is Registeel time, guys. The pressure is on for Registeel to uh, rise to the occasion here. And uh, we do shield up the Bone Club. We know we're going to have to shield one of their moves. Uh, going to look to get to the Zap Cannon. It will not KO. But it will do tons of heavy neutral damage to the Alolan Marowak, and it does. So now all we need to do is get to a Focus Blast. If you've got a, a uh, if your opponent is within uh, range, you can go Focus Blast, even though it's resisted, because that is the more energy efficient move. It is uh, five less energy than the uh, Zab Cannon. And we get to it, and it's lights out for that Alolan Marowak. Valiant effort. They made it close. They had a fire type in the back. But Reggie Steele reigns supreme in the end, closing the game strong. Good game. Well played to our opponent there. And that is the team, guys. Not bad, huh? How about, how about uh, Bronzong in the Great League, guys? My goodness, this thing was tons of fun. And like I said, it plays more like a psychic type than it does a steel type. You just get that uh, steel type uh, you, uh, type typing with the uh, resistances. That is amazing for Bronzong because as you can see in a lot of those battles, what would have been super effective damage was only was negated with our steel typing like that mega horn from that Semarot. If we were if we didn't have that steel typing, that would have absolutely one shot. But uh, that defensive typing and steel uh, really came in clutch for us in a lot of those battles today with the Bronzong. So very fun team. Um, I wanted to build a solid team around Bronzong. Um, it, it's not, you know, there are, there, it does have some weaknesses as with any team, of course. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video, Talonflame lead would be very, very rough. Uh, you would have to, you'd have to try and grab some shields with the Night Slashes. You do thoroughly outpace Talonflame if you were to find it on the lead. With Surfetched, it's just Surfetched. Um, is uh, pretty glassy, so it would be rough. But uh, other than that, uh, you can do very well with this team. With Bronzong in the Great League, I had a blast with it. I wanted to run Bronzong again because I wanted to see how it would do up against um, some very strong Pokemon in this meta, like Azumarill, which we beat with Bronzong. Flip switch against one Azumarill in this video. I wanted to see how it would do up against Metacham. Uh, but didn't run into any meta champs um, today, but I'm sure it would do just fine. And we are running uh, payback on Bronzong. You could definitely go uh, bulldoze. You would you would do a little bit better up against those steel types like Bastiodon and Stunfisk. But um, I wanted to run payback just in case we were to run into a uh, Deoxys or uh, a strong ghost type uh, as well. So had a blast, guys. And if you enjoyed what you saw today, uh, do do give the video a like, as that really is the best way to really help the channel grow. Really let YouTube know that you like the content by hitting that like button. That way uh, they can re recommend the video to others who might also enjoy the video as well. But uh, I had a blast, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, I thank you for watching and keep up the grind. Thank you, guys.